Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Today we do an unboxing and review of the Sama Wangu SAB panel liners. My daughter Nico told me after testing her set of SAB panel liners that these are the best tools that she has ever used for panel line scribing. So I was keen to test these tools myself but I kind of waited for my own set to arrive. Of course, I asked Nico to ask SAB or Samawangu to send the whole set for me. So a ton of thanks to Samawangu for sending me these awesome tools. However, I will review them today and I'll be I'll try to really like be honest about it, about the review and I'll be testing them in front of the camera which is kind of crazy because it's been months or even almost a year I think since I last added details to a Gunpla kit. Nico has a nice transparent drawer for her set. I need to buy the same drawer. I've been hearing really good reviews from like veteran modelers like me about the SAB panel liners but I really needed to try it myself. These scribers are handcrafted from Korea. They're a bit pricey. They're like indirect competition with BMC chisels. I have a handful of BMC. They've been around or I've been using them. I have them for like more than a decade now. I was asked at Facebook if I could compare this SAB chisels or panel liners with Display and Madworks. And I said it's kind of unfair to compare SAB with those brands. Initially, you cannot compare those Chinese made brands because of the pricing. They are like one third the price of SAB panel liners. Unless they jack up their prices, then we could compare it with this SAB panel liners. Now let's scribe. It's been a while because I've been painting minis for the past 10 months. Detailing Gunpla or adding details to a Gunpla plastic model kit is actually more fun in my opinion than just painting. However, I kind of tend to like paint more miniatures especially the past year when I was trying to grow this channel because it's kind of faster or easier to create painting content than do like detailing work and gun plot dioramas. In the first few lines, I'm kind of relying on my muscle memory when it comes to panel line scribing and it was a bit of a struggle but it was fun. Notice the position of my ring finger. Is that the ring finger? Anyways, one of my fingers. It's kind of limiting the movement of my hand thus I have more control with the chisels. I use the same hand position when painting miniatures because I feel I have more control if the other finger is kind of limiting my movement. Now my second attempt or the next batch of lines are going smoother or like I, I feel better at scribing at this point of the video. So SAB panel liners feels a lot more like sharper than BMC. I always advocate like very light pressure when doing panel line scribing and also swift quick strokes so that you create straight lines. Now we scribe on a semi round surface. Scribing on like round surfaces is actually the same as scribing on flat surfaces. The only difference is that it's round. <laughs> so kidding aside, basically light strokes or very light pressure and you just let the guide tape guide the chisel or the panel liner so that you don't like slip or like create mistakes. Never apply too much pressure especially if you're scribing on round surfaces because if you apply too much pressure 
you are like dictating the pressure of your panel line scribing is going to dictate your panel lines so make sure that you're applying very light stroke so that you let the guide tape guide the chisel instead of your pressure you can see in the video here i'm kind of refining the corners of my panel lines because rounded corners are the ugliest in my opinion now here comes the quality of the SAB panel liners in comparison to other brands. The bigger chisels, if they're kinda dull, is kinda difficult to use. If the bigger chisels are too sharp, they tend to break easily. I think the SAB has the perfect like combination of strength and yet it's sharp enough to create really nice big like scribing with the bigger chisels now at this point of the video i could say i highly recommend this sab panel liners from samawangu now we're doing panel line with no guide tape we're basically following the design of the model this is like the most like complex way of scribing because you don't have a guide tape Again, key here are swift, very light strokes and you just let the design of the model or the armor part like guide the panel liners so that you won't like create your own panel line. So now we reveal my work. It's been a while, I have an excuse of painting too many miniatures for the past 10 months at least. So <laughs> the work is not perfect but I think it will do. However, to make the scribing more exciting, I kinda challenge my daughter Nico to scribe her own entry grade. Again, after testing and reviewing and doing a few panel lines or scribing with this SAB Samawangu chisels or panel liners, I think Nico was right. These are the best panel liners in the market today. Now let's compare my work versus my daughter's work. I must admit, I lose this round. Nico obviously has better designs and did a better job with her like entry grade. I have no excuses. I'm old. My eyes are not as good as before. <laughs> Kidding aside, we use the same Samawangu SAB panel liners. We use the same kit. And yet obviously I need practice. We will continue and finish this entry grade and compare both our work. I hope I have an edge when it comes to painting. I really hope I do have that edge. If, if ever I do not have an edge when it comes to painting, I guess it's time to retire. <laughs> That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!